Dreams can be described as the dark speech of the spirit, dreams are a means of revelation, unfortunately, modern men and women have chosen to either ignore dreams altogether, or to fear that an interest in dream is lack of civilization, the fact is that if we would listen, dreams can help us find increased spiritual victory and help, once we have the revelation that dreams can be a key to unlocking the door to the spirit world, we can take some vital steps, first, we can, specifically pray inviting God to inform us through our dreams, secondly, we should declare war when dreams are used against us, third, we should learn how to interpret dreams, the best way to discover the meaning of dreams is to ask the Holy Spirit, it is worthy of note that God promised that he would speak to his people by dreams in the last days, Acts 2, 17 I want you to speak to the Lord now, ask the Lord to make this day a special moment in your life, tell him to make this day a day you will never forget, I am sharing a life changing truth with you today, the message contained in this booklet is similar to a booklet I titled, Breaking Witchcraft Curses, by the grace of God, we are looking at an important topic which, I believe, will lead to your total deliverance, the problems of most people can be traced to our subject of consideration, I am, therefore, speaking to you on, victory over satanic dreams, you have to read carefully and pay attention to the entire content of this booklet, do not allow sleep or any distractions to rob you of the blessings of this booklet, the enemy of your soul will try and prevent you from reading this book with full concentration, I know that the devil does not want you to experience victory over satanic dreams, but do not worry the devil has been defeated for you, there is no other passage to turn to for a proper understanding of victory over satanic dreams than Matthew 13 25, but while men slept, his, enemy came and sowed, a dream is a natural way in which, the spiritual world breaks into our lives, dreams, can be a key to unlocking the door to the inner world, dreams have, been referred to as the speech of the spirit, unfortunately modern, Christians have tended to either ignore dreams altogether or take them as playthings, every normal person is supposed to sleep, God in his own wisdom has designed this for man, everything which God has designed for man is for a good purpose, but the problem is that the enemy goes into every good thing and corrupts it, the devil turns anything that should be a friend of man into an, enemy, dreams, play an active role in the lives of men and women, unfortunately, the problems in the lives of most people start with, instances of satanic dreams, people face two types of danger, one, a lot of people are so deep in spiritual sleep that they never remember what they dreamt about when they wake up, this is the twin danger, when somebody dreams and forgets everything he stands the danger of missing an important message or ministration from God if he was the one speaking through the dream, two, if the enemy is carrying out an evil activity and you forget the dream, you also face the danger of remaining under bondage, if you are fond of forgetting dreams on a regular basis, you have a very serious problem, I remember the case of a sister who came to the church during the time we were having a 70 day fasting and prayer session, we had a session tagged, know the secrets, she went to the Lord and requested to know certain secrets, as she was praying, God opened her eyes and she found herself before a great king who told her, be careful about that church you are attending, I have only allowed you to go there because I know that you will never become a genuine member, of the church, then she woke up, she came to me for counseling and told me about the dream, I told her, you have a strange king ruling, over your life, Jesus is the only true king, you have a demonic king to dethrone let your life, you must dethrone that king and lift Jesus up, she started praying, saying, you strange king, be dethroned in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Christ, she was not fully aware of the problem she was bringing upon herself, the same night she prayed, she found herself before the throne of that same king, the king was angry, he confronted her and said, what kind of nonsense is this, I know how to deal with you. I will remove your spiritual memory so that whatever you see or hear in a dream never be remembered, since that day, the sister just sleeps and wakes without remembering any dream she had, as a result of her spiritual level, the devil kept on doing great havoc against her life without her knowledge, this sister eventually declared war against her oppressors and dethroned the foreign king, 
There is a double danger here, you need to pray against this type of problem, sometimes, people experience the manifestation of what evil powers hail done in the dream, most of the time, what happens in the realm of the dream happens in the physical realm, another sister dreamt about somebody who was defecating on her head, she was worried, unfortunately, she belonged to a fellowship where spiritual warfare is not taught, since that day, her husband began to hate her, that marked the beginning of the ruin of her marriage, occasionally, satanic agents force people to eat in the dream, problems often start with such strange dreams, the bible says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, Hosea 4 to 6 many people have suffered terribly as a result of ignorance of what the devil does in dreams, many people have fallen, prey to the enemies through dreams, many have been made to believe lies and errors through satanic dreams, the enemy has used dreams to confuse a lot of people in their marital, business, financial and spiritual matters, types of dreams a dream may come in form of an activity which the dreamer is involved in, apart from being an activity, a dream may come as an event, for example, the dreamer may find himself sitting down and watching the television, sometimes a dream could be centered on something which has occurred or something which is about to occur, the dream may also be a message to a particular person, some people also dream strange dreams inside a dream of course, that is strange, such people need prayer, a dream sometimes comes as an attack on the dreamer, some force may start fighting against you in a dream, whichever is dream, the spirit world is trying to have an impact on your life, sources of dreams therefore, dreams are generally a film of occurrence still die spiritual realm, before we dig deep into the revelation concerning dreams, we want to take an incisive look into the sources of dreams, where does dream comes from? Dreams may come from God, this is demonstrated in Joseph's life, now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children, because he was the son of his old age, and he made him a coat of many colors, and when his brethren, saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him, and could not speak peaceably unto him, and Joseph dreamed a dream and he told it to his brethren and they hated him yet the more, and be said unto them, Here, I pray you, this dream which I have dreamed, for, behold we were binding sheaves in the field, and, lo, my sheaf arose, and also stood upright, and, behold, your sheaves stood round about, and made obeisance to my sheaf, Genesis 37-37. This account reveals that God revealed Joseph's life story to him in a dream, the fact that God speaks to people through dreams is clearly enunciated in Numbers 12-6, and he said, Hear now my words, if there be a prophet among you, I the Lord will make myself known unto him in a vision, and will speak unto him in a dream. Another popular passage in the Bible further clarifies this point, and it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions, Joel 2:28. this same verse was also quoted in Acts 2:17. the Bible says, the prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream, and he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully, what is the chaff to the wheat? saith the Lord? Jeremiah 23 28 New Testament Dream, this passage shows us that a God-appointed prophet could have dreams, you might say that this is an Old Testament passage, but what will you say when you read a New Testament passage? And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way, and when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring you word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him, when he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night, and departed into Egypt, Matthew 2 colon 12 14, so, how did God speak to Joseph? God spoke to him through a dream, God speaks to people in dreams in order to instruct them concerning what to do. God also speak to people in dreams in order to warn them, let us look at Job 33 verse 14 to 16, for God speaketh once, yea twice, yet we perceiveth it not, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, 
in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and sealeth their instruction, God speaks to people in their dreams, sometimes, people are too noisy, God, therefore, chooses to speak to them through dreams, many people have formed the habit of tuning to local and foreign radio stations immediately they wake up in the morning, so when they go to work they also face the noise of traffic jam, immediately they got to their office, they are bombarded with the noise of idle talk, when they close from work and they are on their way home, it is noise again, as soon as they get home, it is the noise of TV, so, the only time they experience any form of quietness at all is in the night when they are sleeping, that is the only time God can gain their attention if he wants to speak to them. The purpose God can warn of an impending danger through a dream like he did to Joseph, the earthly father of Jesus, he can also show you the blueprint for your life like, he did to Joseph, God can also use a dream to rebuke a person, if the person complies with God's word, there will be grace and mercy, God can also use dreams to reveal the plan of your life to you like he did in the case of Solomon, in Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, ask what I shall give thee, and God said unto him, because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thine enemies, but hast asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment, and if thou, wilt walk in my ways, to keep my statutes and my commandments, as thy father David did walk, then I will lengthen thy days, and Solomon awoke and, behold, it was a dream, 1 Kings 3, 5, 1 liter minus 15, God can use dreams to encourage a person like he used it to encourage, direct, instruct and make covenants with Bible characters, there are many examples in the Bible, Pharaoh dreamt about impending famine, the wise men who visited and gave gift to Jesus when he was born were also directed through a dream, Paul had a dream in which he was told, come over to Macedonia and help us, Pilate's wife also had a dream which made her to warn her husband to wash his hand clean from unlawful persecution of Jesus, all these are practical examples, has God given you any dream about your life? Pray until it comes to pass, remember, God does not give bad dreams to his children, he only gives good dreams, the Bible says, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end, Jeremiah 29 hours 11 minutes, every God-given dream is for your good, if God has warned you through a dream to take an important or urgent step in your life, you must obey promptly, please do so, in conclusion, divine dreams can be divided into four kinds, 1, dreams of instruction or teaching, dream of prophetic nature, dream of warning, and encouragement, mental dreams dreams also come from man, people dream about what they are preoccupied with in their day to day activities, for a dream cometh through the multitude of business, and a fool's voice is known by multitude of words, Ecclesiastes 5 colon 3, again the Bible says, for in, the multitude of dreams and many words there are also divers vanities, but fear thou God, Ecclesiastes 5 to 7, when a dream comes from man, God has nothing to do with it, neither is the devil behind dreams which emanate from the mind of man, this is made very clear in the scriptures, it shall even be as when an hungry man dreameth, and behold, he eateth, but he awaketh, and his soul is empty, or as when a thirsty man dreameth, and behold, he drinketh, but he awaketh, and, behold, he is faint, and his soul hath appetite. Isaiah 29 to 8 You only dream about what occupies your mind throughout the day. When you fill a gas with water, a little tilt will spill some water. If your heart is brimful with a particular thought, such thoughts will be replayed in your dreams. Those who have given themselves to fornication and all forms of immorality will dream about it. Sad people will always dream about tragedy. If you read a bad book before going to bed, you are likely to see horrible pictures of what you read in your dream, if you read an occultic book, you will dream of weird and occultic things, if you watch a terrible and corrupting television program, you will see the same things in your dream, 
influence if you are a believer who is fond of counting his woes tragedies and misfortunes, you will do the same in your dreams, if your dreams are completely taken over by worldly things and you are always dreaming of dancing at parties, you need to repent, your dreams are reflections of your state of mind, fleshly or carnal dreams can be so deceptive, especially when you have not crucified your flesh, to a large extent, if you are filthy you will have filthy dreams, if you are holy, you will have heavenly and God honoring dreams, confused people have confusing and senseless dreams, demonic people have confusing and senseless dreams, demonic people have demonic dreams, sick people generally dream about sickness, there is a fitting example in the book of Job, now a thing was secretly brought to me, and my ear received a little thereof, in thoughts from the visions of the right, when deep sleep falleth on men, fear came upon me, and trembling which made all my bones to shake, Job 4 colon 12 14, Job dreamt about fear, trembling, and the shaking of his bone when he was sick, your physical condition goes a long way in influencing your dreams, that is why a banker would dream of counting money, in the same vein, a post office staff may always dream of letters and stamps, you do not need to bother about these types of dreams, they only reflect your physical or emotional condition, however, there is a class of dreams which should attract the attention of everyone, this class of dreams has ruined many people's lives, in particular, I am talking about satanic dreams a dream could come from the devil, demons have infiltrated into the lives of men and women through dreams, this is the area I really want to explore in this booklet, the devil's motive, the strategy of the devil is to cause calamity and destruction, his purpose is to inflict sickness on people, terrify men and make evil governance with innocent souls, his sole aim is to kill and destroy, he also attempts confusing men and makes them to take wrong decisions, the devil is a deceiver, he deceives through dreams, he might make a person see a man with a white garment in the dream and make him to conclude that God is speaking to him, this reminds me of a brother who was praying and all of a sudden, someone walked up to him and told him to stop praying, he was baffled when the personality added, that prayer is too much. The brother paused and wondered why Jesus would ever ask him to stop praying, however, the brother looked closely and to his surprise, he found dirty spots all over the garment of the strange personality, his eyes got opened, then the brother shouted, you are an agent of the devil, you are not from God. The white garment man disappeared, the devil was trying to deceive him, this is how the devil darkens the vision of many prophets after such a deceptive vision, they generally relapse into strange doctrines, they go about saying, God told me that I should not cut any food cooked by a woman, God also told me that I should tear up my Bible and eat it, you must be careful when you hear or see such things, the devil is always looking for people to deceive, direct satanic attacks, besides leading people into error and bondage through dreams, the devil also afflicts people directly, all the dreams about accidents, attacks, carrying loads, closed doors, youth growing old, chains in the neck, closed Bibles are all symbolic, they represent one form of satanic attack or the other, if you also find yourself drinking concoctions or poison in your dreams, you are surely under attack, if you dream of your property being conflicted or if you see a coffin in your dream the devil is at work. Those who dream of seeing themselves being lost in the forest those who see black shadows in dreams and those who see people running after them are also experiencing some forms of satanic attack, again if you find yourself screaming in your dreams, something is surely ease, those who are fond of eating assorted foods in the dream are most probably under attack, so are those who see snakes, water, dead relatives, spirit husbands spirit children, and masquerades. These all have connotations in the spirit world, the devil uses them as points of contacts. The list is almost endless, the Bible talks of depths of Satan, the devil has many mysterious ways of afflicting people, sweating profusely in the dream, laboring as in pregnancy, serving food to people you do not know, attending strange meetings in the dreams, being attacked by crocodiles, cats, dogs and lions and other strange occurrences in dreams are all part of Satan's method of enslaving and destroying people, spiritual weapons, when unchecked, Satan uses the dream world to his advantage, 
He has a very subtle trick, what he does is that he allows two or three bad dreams to come to pass, then he proceeds to make people to believe that every bad dream must come to pass, when such people come to me for counseling and prayer, they often tell me, Sir, my case is very urgent, whenever I have a dream, it always come to pass, I am afraid this dream will also come to pass, it is clear that people with this kind of mindset have been deceived by the devil, you must not allow the devil to deceive you, that is why you should learn how to make use of spiritual weapons, those who come under our teaching and ministration regularly are always taught the effective use of weapons of spiritual warfare, you need to know how to make use of the weapons which God has given you. But what does the Bible say about these weapons? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, 2 Corinthians 10-4 the name of Jesus the most powerful weapon which is available for our use against satanic dreams is the name of Jesus, the Bible says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runneth into it, and is safe Proverbs 18:10. no matter about terribly you are attacked in your dream, if you can still have the consciousness to call the name of Jesus, no power will be able to overcome you, you can use the name of Jesus to overcome every satanic warfare in the dream. But if you call the name of Jesus and evil powers refuse to obey, then there is a sin in your life, something is surely wrong somewhere, there is no other explanation, you cannot blame other person, sin will render your prayer ineffective, you, therefore, need to know the power in the name of Jesus, perhaps you are wondering, why is it that sometimes when I am dreaming, I do not even remember to call the name of Jesus? It is because the name of the Lord Jesus has not yet entered into your spirit, if you keep on repeating a particular word or phrase for ten hours, you will discover that you might continue repeating the word when you are asleep, because it has entered into your subconscious, if you are always calling the name of Jesus in real life, you will find it easy to call his name in your dreams, in the same way, if you are always making use of bad vocabulary, you will need deliverance but when your vocabulary is positive and words like, Jesus, glory be to God, God is good and the goodness of the Lord are always on your lips, you will repeat the same words in your dreams, the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus is another weapon you can use against satanic dreams, this is clearly stated in the Bible, and they overcome him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death, Revelation 12:11. The blood of Jesus is a very powerful weapon, remember, it is written. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you, Exodus 12 13. The fire of God The fire of God is another weapon, against demonic dreams, this may sound like a strange weapon, but earnest students of the Bible and matured students in school of spiritual warfare are conversant with this weapon, the Bible declares, for behold the Lord will come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire, Isaiah 66 hours 15 minutes, the Bible also stated that God is a consuming fire, so it is clear that you can call the fire of God to consume burn or roast all forms of satanic dreams, the word of God is filled with wonderful revelations concerning our spiritual weapons, you need to search the word of God for light and guidance, you also need to memorize scriptures to effectively deal with the enemy each time he comes against your life. There is no shortcut to victory, if you fail to learn enough scriptures, you might be confused at the hour of battle, it is never too late, you can start to memorize scriptures today. The average Christian ought to be able to recite at least 50 memory verses, it is rather unfortunate that some people find it difficult to commit Bible verses to memory, such people are, however, quick to memorize the wordings of worldly music, this is the work of the enemy, angels of God another strange but powerful weapon which God has given every believer are angels, angels play a prominent role in the battles which the believer faces, the Bible says, there shall be no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways, Psalm 91 hours 10 minutes, 11, again the Bible says, let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul, 
let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt, let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord persecute them, Psalm 35 to 4 6 angels are part of our weapon for spiritual warfare, some believers think that we should never fight against or deal with the enemy, some people believe that we should just fold our hands since God know how to give us victory. But there is nothing wrong if a Christian prays and commands that certain spirits should be bound, you have the weapons, why not use it? There is nothing wrong with commanding the thunder and the lightning of God to blast the enemies of your soul, this is a very effective weapon. Also, there is nothing wrong if a believer commands that the whirlwind of God should scatter the enemy's devices against you. There is also nothing wrong if a believer choose to apply the arrow and the spear of God against dark powers, there is nothing bad, too, if a believer commands the tempest of God to deal with all satanic agents, there is just nothing wrong with a believer who prays like the psalmist, especially after being harassed or attacked in a dream.